don't know how I would sync that up. I would have. I'm gonna look into it more after today. Today, this is fine. It's the first All one. Right. It don't right, it's the first one. Does it have to We're getting like ten views max, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Let's just. <laughs> it's and, all family members that, too. As we say that, it blows up to like fucking ten million views. And they're like, look at these. Oh, we're gonna have to take this a little more serious. <laughs> these goobers trying to make a podcast and they don't even know what they're doing. Dumbasses. That's too bright. I got the big old bussies cup for my voice throat. That that was not what I thought it was gonna be when you said bussies. Had to look real quick. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Goosecast. Uh, that's not the official name. It's just what I came up as a placeholder for the time being. Uh, and we're going to workshop something into it. And what I realized is I could just always change the title of the, the podcast when we come up with an official name. So if you're catching this before the name change, it's just going to be, hey, the podcast, whatever, I decide to label it. Uh, and then we'll update it as we come up with the official name. And then yeah. you'll be like... If you're an OG, you'll be like, "Oh, I caught them before it, uh, before it changed." So or it blew up, right? If you <laughs> if you're here before we come up with the official name, drop a comment down below. He might win a prize. Who knows? Or you could choose our name. Or That'd you be a good could choose our name. Yeah. Any, so uh, give us some ideas. Names. Oh my God, Vera's going crazy in the background. I don't know if you saw that. <laughs> I didn't see that. I uh, didn't see. Dude, this lighting's like kind of perfect. All right. Um, Got a good angle. Not perfect by like professional standards. So. Also, if you know any good recording video methods aside from just like Discord video, that would also be helpful in the comments. You know, constructive yeah. criticism is always a good thing. I'm not against it. I'm not gonna be like delusionally brain dead. Yeah, like we we won't we won't say fuck off. We'll I, we'll actually take the criticism. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. You know, are, work on it. She's going crazy. All the cats always want to have playtime when I'm trying to like do something. <laughs> yes, to all the viewers. He has the most chill cats I've ever fucking met. Well, that one, that one is that chill. But the rest of them are pretty cool. The rest of them are pretty cool. Yeah, pretty, the rest are pretty cool, man. All right. Topic numero uno. So fucking Prime, the, the everybody's favorite sports drink. Yeah. And their forever chemicals. In terms of internet years, this is probably like old news. Obviously, it's a couple weeks behind. But we were workshopping this whole thing in there. And there's something like I really wanted to talk about it because I have something goofy to say about it. Um, speak on it yeah like straight up just full disclosure everything you consume in the world has forever chemicals in it at this point yeah that was the whole point of the yeah. microplastic scare everybody's going up against uh, yeah almost everything it's like 0. 0.6 in almost everything you consume yeah so. parts per million or whatever right like Logan Paul already made a response video to the dude suing him that was just like straight up not just to the dude specifically but to everybody it's just like, yeah. dude, this is what's in it. This is how it works. Everything you eat is that. It, is, it shows like the whole process of how it's done. Like, if anybody hasn't seen it, you should go look at it. It's really informational, and it just shows how stupid the guy that was coming at him sounds. And I'm not a Logan Paul fan, so yeah, no, I, that's I, saying I something. Means, yeah. When I first tried the drink, I was just doing it as a meme to be like, <laughs> look at my Logan Paul Prime, <laughs> and I ended up drinking. I was like. No, it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. good. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'll admit, like, pretty good, man. It's pretty it's good. Like, okay, this is tasty as hell. Oh, uh, shit. But I think it's hilarious because everybody is always bitching about, well, not everybody, but like a huge chunk of people are in that tinfoil hat world of mm. you know, microplastics. They're in our body. We don't want them in our body, right? He's, he's putting steel in our body. He's, well, uh, okay, before I even go into my counter conspiracy, how do you feel about that? I mean, like you said, it's in everything. It's like, what are you going to do about it? It's it's in everything they make, you know what I'm saying? So, like, we're going to consume it at the end of the day. As long as it's, like, not an absurd amount, you just got to take it, you know what I'm saying? It's not a big deal. And it's fucking good. You ever taste that ice pop flavor? <laughs> like, yeah, bro, it's fucking oh, good. It's delicious. And we could resell it to the UK for, like, $500, so. <laughs> you know? crazy for that. Dude, they're kids they want it so bad, prime. man. I oh, heard like they, they like I seen the video of like kids coming outside of their school and just beefing over fucking prime. Like, dude, who do you who in the world is doing that shit but the people in the UK, man? Shout out to the UK. Yeah. yeah. If, well, that, man. if that happened in America, it would have been a shooting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's uh, not go too in depth on that. <laughs> 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 let's let's glaze over that one. So, so are you worried that it, like, might be bad for your health or, like, 
No, I drank that shit today. Nah, I don't think it's that bad to be out of the <laughs> If it is, we, we're going to, you know what I'm saying? We're here for a good time, not a long time. Right, right. Okay, so my counter conspiracy on it. Okay, you, you think about how plastic is bad for the environment, right? Yes. It takes how many years for, like, a plastic bag to decompose naturally? Like, a thousand yeah. years, right? That's a, it sounds like a good number. So if they're saying that uh, a huge portion of our body is going to be microplastics in the future, like, I'm going to look it up real quick, like, now. Uh, how much microplastics in our body? So I'm going to be, like, Plastic Man from the DC. Yeah, I could just, like, extend my whole body. So tens of Part thousands plastic. of microplastic particles per person per year. Per person per year, all right? Put that into perspective. Put, so. put that in dumb terms so I can understand. Okay, dumb terms. In ape, ape form. Like, put it in ape form for me. <laughs> so, evolution, right? <laughs> Too big of a word. Go smaller. <laughs> <laughs> Go smaller. We get thumbs, we better, right? Okay. Mm, yes, yes, now we're talking. Plastic takes thousands of years to decompose. If we are ingesting those plastics and they're saying, like, our offspring, like, you know, kids that you have are going to be born with microplastics in them already, right? right? Okay. Yeah. So that already is a change in our biology, okay. right? our evolution. Yep, it's making sense. The life expectancy of a human being has already gone up since existence of mankind by a significant amount, like eighty to ninety, usually for men. You know, uh, you know, seventy to eighty, right? But fucking back in the medieval times, you were lucky to make it to like 40. thirty. Yeah, 30, 40. 40. Right. Yeah, you lived with a bowl cut for ten of those years, and then for the other bowl. So, if if most of your body becomes plastic, <laughs> it might essentially make us immortal. Ooh, <laughs> ooh! I like where we're going. Like, think about. I want to live forever, dog. So we we develop GMOs, and everybody talks about GMOs bad. GMOs bad. Yeah. Realistically, chemically, scientifically, mathematically, yeah. Yeah. Also, <laughs> no defense for it. It's just, yeah, it's true. <laughs> but also, this is like reverse flat Earth thinking. If it's so bad, how come we live longer? Huh? Huh? I have heard things though. People saying like <laughs> when they go out of state, like you know, you know, I'm like not. Nah, it's about out of country. They go to like other, you know, what I'm saying countries. They say the food tastes more original and more yeah, real. Yeah. And then they come back and they're like, "Oh, this is pretty g fucking mo." You know what I'm saying? Like so. Like, I will I, say the I, taste is probably better because I've heard a lot of that take. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I'm joking and I'm memeing. It's actually like could be bad for you. I don't know. I'm not a, you know, <laughs> an, uh, a I'm not an expert or a chemist. Like I'm not an expert, but it's just I, I. Some people argue that like you should eat all natural, which you probably should. Again, yeah. not an expert, but to say that the government is purposely trying to kill us yeah kind of a stretch yeah it's like if that was true how how come we're living longer then yeah yeah we're pretty for (laughs) you know we're pretty good for people that consume gmos on the daily you know what i'm saying yeah i'm pretty sure they have other methods to extinguish us if that was the goal so like the air (laughs) whoa dude are the pigeons what do you think those trails are behind the airplanes (laughs) Fuck it, you better, some government <laughs> shit right there, you better be ready. So, if if most of your body became plastic, and it takes thousands of years for plastic to decompose, maybe plastic equal immortality, hmm? It's like, we need more plastic, in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I think. It's just a theory, maybe we evolved to become plastic people. Or we evolved evolve to become two gallons, two, uh, like, two percent milk, or some shit, you know? <laughs> What? We have like we have two lines of evolution, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> One gallon, two percent milk, immortal. I'm I'm going for the milk part, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't yeah, I don't yeah. think we're that good to be immortal for the rest of our lives. But yeah, oh, man. Okay, <laughs> that that is literally all I have to say about Prime and their microplastics. I just was thinking about it. It would be goofy because like plastic take forever to decompose. 
human life expectancy go up. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a great point. That's a great point. Rudimentary science, right there. We have other topics for the day, though, because I don't want to talk about Logan Paul all day. Uh, uh, also, the phase layoffs. I forgot about that. Yeah. Right, phase layoffs. What's going on with that? Who got laid off? I know there was like a list, like uh, eight people or shoot. ten people, if I remember. And then we only had a couple left. The one that we were thinking about before this was the face Kaylee girl. Face face Kaylee. Face Kaylee girl. <laughs> but uh, did you I, watch the video or I yeah, didn't see the apology yeah. video? Okay, hold on. It, it wasn't like an apology video. It's it. Oh okay. I'll go, I'll go through the list. It's uh, and I have never heard of any of these people. I haven't heard of most of them either. Blaze. Like when they were like. We got Blaze, Booya, Seabass. I know who Booya is. Scissors. Uh, Scissors is the guy that makes like the Fortnite maps and stuff, like the little Fortnite. Oh, okay. I didn't even. Yeah, know yeah. I didn't even know yeah. he was on Phase. Yeah, uh, I didn't know either. Fazuti. I don't know. Never heard of that guy. Phase Phase Fazuti. Phase Flea is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good name. Phase Flea. I like it. Uh, yeah, like high cool. High Sky One, which is a weird name. Kaylee, which is literally just her name. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then we got Nate Hill, which is also just your name. Like and Nate Hill, a boxer, or am yeah. I thinking of the wrong Nate Hill? I don't know. Maybe. Dude, did they sell off Snoop Dogg signed? They had a Snoop Dogg sign. This is yes. the information to me. I didn't know that. Snoop I know Dogg they were is, thinking uh, about. They were thinking about signing Brownie too, right? I, they, I don't know. They've had so many like. No. Sign-ons and stuff. Snoop Dogg is part know. is part of Phase. He's uh Phase Snoop, right? And he um, they did like a whole PR thing where they like showed him come up and red carpet and shake hands and like do his little sign-on or whatever. Yeah, like he, like he just got an NFL draft or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> he just got signed. <laughs> and then he never did anything else with them ever again. As That's what I've heard. Like as a as a like as a, as a trend, like people that are famous to sign on with them. Do like two things and then never be heard of again. Like Lil Yachty, I think has something to do with them too. But he did one thing for them, never Damn, did anything. Really? I didn't even know. Yeah, that. it was some 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 rapper if I, I could remember. But yeah, they have a trend of doing that. They'll hire him, say they signed on, and then they just do like two things and never talk about Phase ever again. Right. I guess it's kind of bad marketing, but good marketing at the same time. Well, here's the thing: if you sign a Phase contract and they're like, "We'll give you fifty thousand dollars a year." And don't state that you need to be posting regularly. Yeah. Would, would you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> you wouldn't I would have to. I mean, but they should just put it in the contract, like post this once a month or something. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, Jesus Christ, like post this once a month so we get a little publicity out here. So we had Kaylee, Nate Hill, Phase Neo. Uh, oh, Neo, Neo is interesting to watch. I'm not gonna lie, he's a he's a good sniper. Phase okay. Neo, I didn't know got dropped. That sucks for him. I don't know. I don't know if he was posting consistently though. That seems like to be the problem with everybody in that list well, not posting consistently. That's what I'm gonna segue into because uh, you got Pros, Santana, Sway, and Testy. I know all uh, those. I've never heard of any of them, but then again, I also never really cared to follow up on Phase because it's sure. just like eh, it's not the same as it used to be. No, not at all. Um, so because you had mentioned briefly to me about phase kaylee and i was like okay like uh so i decided to look into it for the topic for this podcast i was doing a little research today and the one video i watched talking about it he got into her and was like she was posting on twitter about like oh it's not all in good faith like they you know there's some really shady shit that happened and i'm gonna make a youtube video about it and right. she's, she said it wasn't on, like, it didn't end on goodwill or anything. So, yeah, we see that now. So that piqued my interest, so I decided to go check her out on her YouTube channel. And like you said, she only posted once every two months. Where Visible. Like, if, yeah. if that was my source of income, even if it's just the streams, I yeah. would just fill in the gaps with streams, like post daily. Yeah. I'll get into it. But uh, in her video she made she because she told twitter she's gonna make this video like exposing them and the tweets is it kind of seemed like and that's what the dude was alluding to when he was talking about it seen that shit 
He's trying to. He's trying to. He said, "Fuck out here." He's trying to fight Spooky. Scrap with him, bro. I'm doing the thing. Okay, so. Come on, man. So the. It could have just been like the way that people were talking about her, but like the tweets did kind of seem like they were alluding to like, hey, like I'm going to expose FaZe for firing me yeah. type situation. So I went to her video that she posted and she didn't mention anything about it. All she did was like, oh, I'm so happy that I was here. I met, uh, what's his name? <laughs> Fuck, well, Apex and FaZe Apex and... Ah, crap. It was another dude whose name started with an A or whatever. She always looked up to him for his Call of Duty quick scoping snipes. Uh, phase. Let me just. I'm literally just gonna type in like phase A, and I'm sure it'll come up. A. Phase Anus. <laughs> phase Anus. <laughs> I want to say fa- Phase Aiden. Phase Aiden. Phase, a- phase Aiden. Okay, I don't know who that is, but. That's what I'm saying. Like, who the fuck are these people? I don't know <laughs> half of the people that sign with FaZe. I'm telling you, it's just too many, yeah, too much yeah. to keep up with. It is indeed FaZe Aiden. I just pulled him up. Oh, okay. Because uh, he also, they like tweet together. You know, she talked about it, and uh, this was for Modern Warfare 2019 is when she popped off and got signed by FaZe. By the way, 2019, go to the game. People just hate on it for no reason. I love 2019. With but that's the besides the point. Continue. Yeah, yeah, that was, um, it was good. Very controversial. Uh, I, I think people forget when they, like, oh, OG COD is so much better, and they forget how much 2019 was like OG COD. Yeah, the, it was good. The movement was crazy, but they're like, oh, this map laid out is so garbage, it's, it's, go back and play the old maps. It was remasters. They had a whole bunch of, uh, yeah. not remasters, what was it called? No, a whole bunch was... of revamped maps that were from remastered uh, maps but like even the original maps like uh i can't remember the name of it the the one where it was like a bunch of streets and buildings and it was like a natural looking setting um that map everybody hated on it's like just like dude there's a lot of og cod maps that were like that that played exactly the same you're just not remembering Uh, anyways tangent aside exactly so she had looked up to phase aiden like he was her idol and she was talking about Oh yeah, it was like super chill. Like we just sat in the back of an Uber eating Panda Express together, like talking about the good old days of Call of Duty. Yeah, he smashed. Yeah, he <laughs> that, that was the he's mod smashed. I was getting. I was like, I was like oh, dude, there's definitely, there's definitely uh, something romantic going on there. Yeah, we were eating ramen noodles on his spoiler and just. Uh, but then she great time. she said, "I just I streamed every day," which unless she doesn't post every single vod is cap because yeah. she posts. The ones I was looking at were were every other day minimum. Sometimes there was a good three days in between streams. Yeah, yeah. So and as a streamer, you have to be hella consistent, man. A, like you know, people yeah, I would know. Yeah, you know, people <laughs> hate XQC. It's like you know, what I'm saying all those big shit, the bro. Chit 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 chit. Chit 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 chit. They just like go crazy. Rolls up his legs, but he's he's consistent, bro. He posts like every day. You know, what I'm saying he's doing like twelve hour streams consistently, bro. He's he's doing he's on his grind. You know, what I'm saying. So if you're a streamer and that's like your main source of income, you got to be doing it consistently. I'm saying, of Charlie. Streams consistently, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we're a big yeah. fan of him, you know. So you gotta, you gotta be consistent with that shit if you're gonna fucking do it. Like well, she's here's how she put it: she was completely solo freelance before Phase, so she had a career in streaming and making videos before Phase, and was making money to live off of before Phase. Wait, so after Phase, she just got lazy then? Is that what she's saying? N- no, no, I'm saying like j- the Phase was just extra income on top of what she was ah. doing. Whatever okay. they worked out in her contract. Um, so she was like, well, now that I'm not on phase anymore, I'm just going to go back to what I was doing before. And it's just like, that was the end of her video. And it was like, what the <laughs> hell were all those tweets about then? Let me see. Let, <laughs> no, let me, she let had let no actually, beef. <laughs> let me she actually, had no like, beef on him. Right. Let me actually go to her Twitter now that I'm thinking about it. She had no beef on him. But you know who had beef on somebody? Who? Kendrick. Kendrick, Kendrick had beef on somebody. Oh, before we get into that, let me finish. I don't want to. I don't want to get into that yet. Let me just say he had beef. Struck a chord and it was a minor. Oh, she already. Or. Oh God, this can't be the right one. No. That, okay. Good. That was a wild tweet I just read. <laughs> what was it? Oh. Uh, 
Guys, you don't want to see a for you page. It was, I love how you think you can try and ruin my life with rumors. You don't phase me. <laughs> that's what Dude. he literally says. I was like, there's no way that's her. All right. Yeah, but like that's how I stumbled upon it, too. Like, the phase layoffs. I, I was on Twitter just scrolling. I refuse to call it X, by the way. But I was on Twitter just scrolling, and they just, like, sent out a tweet saying they laid off all these people, and then the only original people left were... Uh, Banks, can't remember the list, but it was a good like five. Oh, uh, Je Jev, which is like my favorite phase member for sure, and just like, a couple other people. I'm wondering if she like deleted her Twitter because it's not popping up, unless she just took phase out of the name already. She probably just took phase out of her name. Uh, that's what everybody else did. I don't think they're even allowed to do it, which is crazy. Just gonna. Oh, God. Oh, he even pulled up fucking clips from the same video I was just talking about. I should have just watched his whole commentary about it. Yeah. But I was so pressed. I was like, bro, okay, I need to jump straight into this to figure it out. Like, what the fuck? Is it not picking that up? He, he, no, it's picking it up. You're good. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> it wasn't giving me the green flash. Okay, he did not, because I was just listening to it. He did not even, like, he just talked about the tweets. He didn't even show them. So... If any of this information is inaccurate, that's on our fault for, you know, not doing all yeah. the research. Yeah, yeah. This is, this we is a tried the research. Yeah, yeah. If we could do this full time and get paid, it'll be way more concise. But we oh, yeah. work. We both work. Oh yeah. So right yeah. Also, now, uh, so. sub to our Patreon. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we have one Patreon. I actually it'll be do, up by tonight. No, I'm fucking with y'all. I actually do oh, have a. Not... I actually do have a Patreon made that has the anime tier list episodes on it. Oh, uh, so. Yeah, but I, I'm not going to advertise that until further on. Until yeah, this. until we make consistent content for you guys, there will be no such thing as a Patreon. I no, we're not. Gonna, I got to at least hit, like, a thousand subs before I'm like, yeah. hey, check out the Patreon. Cause I've never been a big fan of Patreons either. I feel like it's kind of, like, but here's well, the thing, money hungry. With Patreon, we can do the anime tier list together. Because um, we can both watch the anime on Discord. And just get our reactions of what we're watching on yeah, Discord, yeah. and then clip it, and then we could tier list each anime, which uh, <clears throat> I did whole, a whole five episodes already, and it's going through just basically every anime on Hulu, and it's yeah. just like a line of like, and it's in alphabetical, so it's like the first row of A's watched, the second row of A's watched, yeah, and so yeah. on and so far. I made it all the way to B, and then uh, YouTube decided to take them all down, so... <laughs> First anime we're watching, uh, High School DxD, and then <laughs> <laughs> then we'll what's, get to other stuff for you guys. What's wild is like we could, and we just literally because I did some etchies that were already on there, and I just you have to up, censor so much, I man. Up, I threw up the censor bars, but it was yeah, so it was be so, so bad. funny. It was so funny. Screw Japan. A lot of editing going into that, bro. Yeah, <laughs> screw, screw the Japan and their copyright because no, nah, don't screw Japan. It'll screw you over back. All right, don't screw Japan. Well, I'm not afraid of them. I, you know, I just will say I'm sorry and then r remove it. I was just trying. And all to, you, you know, all you hear is. Off a topic, though. Uh, <laughs> the layoffs, layoffs. Uh, so yeah, we were talking about uh Kaylee. Oh, and oh, uh, I remember the main point of what I wanted. So I just kind of dove into her, and then I got busy, so I couldn't research the other members. Fair. Uh, unfortunately, we've. Now. we've yeah, it, it my bad, like my I'm, bad. It seems like I'm just picking on her now all of a sudden. Right. <laughs> Which uh, right now, we've only had like two days of prep time. We're not, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, oh, we were just oh. like, look, man, we got to get out of get-go. Yeah. <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> that, was, that was all we were thinking of. We weren't even thinking about content. Making we get out of like, get-go for this. We were like, I don't want to work here anymore. That's it. And then we were like, all right, let's make a podcast. <laughs> we're making it out of the get-go with this one. Yeah. <laughs> um. The point I'm trying to make is these phase members that got dropped, I have never heard of them. And everybody I ask has never heard of them. And yeah. they don't consistently post. And yeah. some of them are really butthurt about it, it seems. It's just, you gotta take it from a company standpoint. Yeah. Of, oh, that reminds me. Okay. A comp you're a company, you have to lay off your employees. Who are you gonna choose? Shitty workers. Not necessarily shitty, but who's outputting the least. 
right? yeah that yeah, would make sense so you know and I, I remember now she was saying she was like well uh in my career it, it everything was going good and then they just went radio silence and nobody heard from them and then i just got an email saying i was gone yeah and the way she broke it down, it made it seem like her career was only a week long. <laughs> you, <laughs> I mean, you know, but she's been signed I mean, since, since twenty. I haven't, yeah, 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 I haven't heard of her until this week, to be honest. So, uh, she had alluded that Phase was going in a different direction away from gaming. <laughs> can we can we take a moment? Alluded. What a fucking word. <laughs> That's a crazy good word. Put up, put up a counter of like big words from, from Mike. <laughs> no, that's too, <laughs> much, that's too much editing for a podcast. That's too much. All right, continue. My bad. Um, but she was just saying that they're they were trying to move away from gaming content, and I yeah. could be wrong on this, but didn't the original owners of Phase buy it back? Uh, I don't know. I would assume so, because they had the whole thing where. Uh, they they sold it to a bunch of corporate suits and they ruined it. Uh, yeah, but then it started not being profitable. Profitable, so they were able to buy it back. Phase buy back. I don't. I don't. It's something about. Uh, hey, Mike, you got twenty seven seconds. Oh yeah, that's the the live feed thing on my scary okay. ass camera. All right. Let's... <laughs> I was about to say that before I continue getting to another topic, we might want to stop. No, 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 we're good. I just okay. Gotta, I just gotta step up and like hit that button every now and then. Gotcha. Yeah, sure. Okay. Okay. How much? How much longer do we have to record? Uh, we're halfway through. Okay. 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 Sweet. We're, we don't have to end like at an hour on the dot if we're still. Yeah. No. Whenever we're done with the. No. Yeah. So. Also, we'll if you go. hear me talking and I'm like saying yeah, just don't mind me saying yeah, just continue unless I have something to stop. You know, just. I just I say yeah it's in the middle of conversation. All right, with this enough exposition, they're gonna laugh at us. <laughs> no, no, cut that shit out. Cut that shit out. That's not in the fucking uh, video. Nope, I'm not doing it. We've been doing good. There's no need for any cuts. Uh, <sighs> phase Fuck. lies back. Or OG, I should be like OG phase. I'm pretty positive. I just don't want to like create something that's not true. But I'm pretty sure they bought it back. I wouldn't be surprised. It might. It ha it's probably somebody. It's like it's Banks. I know is like one of the biggest guys in Phase. He's always like the guy behind everything. So I wouldn't be surprised if it was him and somebody else. Uh, was yeah. Nady Shot ever part of Phase, or was Nady Shot completely different? I I, I was just wondering this because they just had their one v one. They're talking about. You know what I'm saying? I, so, I I tried to research that topic, and everything I found was just not, you know, giving me a concise answer of what's going on with that. Are you hyped for it? I think it's gonna be pretty good. Nate Shot, Nate Shot was he's like he was pretty pretty fucking good, man. He played competitively for a long time. You know what I'm saying? I and I've I've never that. I've never seen Banks play dog. No, once in my life. So I'm I'm putting my money on that motherfucker. The only professional Call of Duty player I watch is myself. For further context <laughs> for the for the podcast, this motherfucker's not a professional. <laughs> Neither am I. So I'm, we're both for that fucking trade. But right. dude, he's good. You know what I'm saying? Like I was watching a video on him, uh, of like a montage, bro. He was he was elite. I'm not gonna lie. Dude, you know uh, who has crazy montages? Uh, fucking oh God. Of course, I can never. When I need to talk about it, I can't remember the name. You gotta look it up again, bro. I literally just watched him last night. I, this so when we have more prep, we would not be looking at our phones as much. I swear. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're gonna have Kaiser. some shit like on the side or something. Fucking Kaiser. Kaiser. <clears throat> phase Kaiser. I'm gonna have to look at that guy. No, he, he's right. not. He's not a phase member. He's just. Kaiser. He's not a phase member. Okay. He does. I, I sent you a video a long time ago. If Call of Duty was an anime, and it is like the craziest. I could not even fathom the amount of editing that went into this. this Probably dude's yeah. work. Like. I'm sending it to you again, and you have to watch it immediately after this podcast. All right, I'm going to sleep immediately after this. Podcast. No, no, you're, you're watching. <laughs> you're watching this, and then you're going to sleep. It's only twelve, right. it's only twelve minutes. Only twelve minutes. Yeah, like it'll keep you entertained. <laughs> it was so good. Ashley actually sat down and watched it with me. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Like it does, she does not care for COD gameplay. 
So, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Oscar is going to be on it. Right. Uh, speaking about good stuff to watch, Fallout, remember we have to get into that because I'm very happy with episode one. Very happy. Did you, you only watch the first episode? Uh, yeah, I'm watching it with my girl. So we're taking her. She's, she went to the gym and did a whole bunch of stuff today. So update. It was up to me. I'd be watching it right now. So oh, yeah, it was pretty fucking good. It was it was a lot. It was a lot in one episode. Man. I was I was happy with how much shit they stuffed and crammed into. There's a lot of stuff that if you played the game, yeah, you're happy with. Yeah. Um, one big plot hole though is just like when they first came over. How come? Yeah, Vera. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> it's a Phoebe. Me, <laughs> no, she one does big, that. She one does big that when she's, what? She does that when she's playing. But uh, you know, they all had their pit boys. Or were they wearing their pit boys? Maybe yeah, they, they were wearing their pit boys. Yeah, because the guy that up in the elevator was wearing his pit boy. I, game status wise, I think the red detector is always on. So I think Lucy manually turned it on at some point in the show. So I think in the show. It you have to like manually activate it, yeah. Which is is we- weird because it's it's like a canon show, so like it should technically spike as soon as they walked in to be like something's up, something's a bit fishy here. What was uh, weird to me too was that vaults were connected. Now I don't remember vaults being connected. Uh, that's no, because no. Uh, it's an exclusive to those three vaults. Oh, okay. So yeah, because I remember every vault being separate. Yeah, every no, they... single. They all are. Every vault is its own experiment. And... Yeah, because yeah, like, there was that one with like the 99 dudes. And then, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> one girl, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. 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 And then the whole opposite in the other vault. Like, there was a whole bunch of stuff that there was like experiments. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's why I found it weird that there was two vaults next to each other. And then, by the way, <clears throat> you know how stupid you have to be to let all the motherfuckers in and not notice that they're done. Something fishy. I'm sorry, you cut out real hard right there. What oh is... no, we're losing him. Are, am, are you losing me? Yeah, we're good. Now. We're good. Now. We're good. We're good. Okay. I said, how stupid do you have to be to let them dusty ass motherfuckers from Vault 32, 32, right? Come. Yeah. You don't even notice that. Oh no. Your fucking jaw, like. They're fizzing at the mouth, like, oh, I'm about to eat this motherfucker when I'm done. You know what I'm well, saying? Like, I, they did notice, too. They kind of, like, took the it The was the only one that noticed, in my opinion. They were just kind of sitting there, and they're, like, looking at them, like, eating, like, I'm like, they've never yeah. eaten a meal before in their life. Uh, yeah, that's red flag number one. Yeah, yeah. But also, they have never actually seen anybody from that vault. So maybe they just were, yeah. like... Things are get different over there, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Uh, or question too: Were they eating the guy that was in their vault when their brother went in there, or was that just like, was that just the guy that was dead? I can't answer that without getting into any spoilers. All right, then let's continue with the show. Then let's continue with the pod. Uh, yeah. what were yeah. we saying? We were talking about uh the co- the people that bought Bay's back. No, uh, uh, that that conversation is dead and buried, pretty much. Oh, all right, they, well, fuck that. The OG owners did buy Phase back, so I find it hard oh, to believe. Okay. I find it hard to believe that they would move away from gaming content. Yeah. You know, like it's. <laughs> yeah, I really doubt it. Esports uh, is not not profitable. Well, is is it not? Because I know Charlie has his own esports organization. He pays like every one of them like a good buck. Yeah, but hey. he made a whole video about how it puts him personally in the negative. Oh. Yeah, he does not uh, profit from it at all. He's just doing it because it's fun. Well, he does. I like that about him, though. He takes risks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know well, it, it wasn't even a risk because he knew 100% what he was getting into. Right, before right. Before he, he went into it. Yeah. Uh, fucking. Yeah, Fallout, the vaults are. That's a whole new exclusive vault to that area as well so the thing now we're gonna move on to the kendrick thing because i don't really have a fucking i don't know much about it either i just did you listen to the song that i told you to listen to no <laughs> <laughs> well if anybody that's been keeping up on the beef knows drake dropped his second song i think and then kendrick dropped three four can't even keep up anymore with their beef either but the in my opinion drake was winning 
uh, when he came out with Family Matters, and then Kendrick dropped uh, uh, "Let Us Let Us Know" or something. Hold on, let me see. Give me a second. <laughs> now I gotta go down to my phone. Which is hilarious though, because I found the perfect TikTok today regarding that topic. It was not like us, and what I'm telling you, not like us turned my whole view on this round. He he massacred him. Oh my god, was that so good? You gotta listen to it. Anybody that's watching the pod, please listen to that. I don't want to keep going on this subject much longer, but just please listen to that. I, I was gonna say, um, before I even show you this this TikTok, me personally, just based like I don't know anything about this. What the hell they're even beefing about, right? Yeah, I don't even know why either. If I was to base it purely on who's better on sound, like sound wise, music wise, yeah. Kendrick, 100. percent Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Right. After that song, bro, I, don't even, he was... I don't even care if your lyrics are the most diabolically accurate. Like, it's just like, <laughs> nah, man, your mu- your music is goofy to me. <laughs> <laughs> bro, he was digging a ditch for Drake. I'm telling you, he was in there in the live going crazy. Drake's music is just goofy for me. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna try to share my screen right here, so you can see this TikTok. Is it the one where Drake's twerking? Because I've seen that. No, like no, 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 <laughs> Paul. Uh, all right, are you watching my screen? Yes, I am. Okay, okay. Go, I've seen that so many here. times. This won't normally happen on the podcast, but I just straight up have to. I straight up have to show this. Uh, me. Where are my saved videos? View profile. Oh, favorites. There it is. Uh, if right. Drake and Kendrick Lamar got in a rap battle, who do you think would win? You got to go with Kendrick. I'm just saying, I, 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 I think Drake is, is, is uh, an outstanding entertainer, but Kendrick, his lyrics, his last album was outstanding. Excellent, all right. Best, uh, best album, I think, uh, last year. Thanks so much for your time, Mr. President. If Drake and... It was a lot. It was a lot. You know, I've been told I speak like Obama because I fucking stutter so much. <laughs> It's like so, oh, I'm, I'm, uh, 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 and then I got uh, that speaks just like Obama. That's so funny. Yeah, like I just, I was literally thinking, I was like, I don't even care what they're beefing about. It's just I know I like Kendrick's music way more. Yeah, and I haven't listened. No. To, I haven't listened to any of the new stuff. Like not since yeah. like, high school. Yeah, you know, back in high school is when I. I mean, he really doesn't drop music a lot. That's why I was right. so like you out of the. You don't have to at that point anymore. Yeah. Yeah, it was it was so random too. Like once, I swear it's like the whole world turned on Drake after just like one day passed. Like the whole world just turned on him. I swear, like nobody was fucking with him. It's, Metro it's, made a, a a beat about him saying, "BBL Drizzy." You heard it? <laughs> <laughs> BBL Drizzy. It's a TikTok. You just watch it later. <laughs> His music's too mainstream. It just it doesn't hit my ear good. You know. Yeah, it depends for me. Like I could be in a Drake mood sometimes, but. Like AJ was AJ was talking to me while he was stocking the shelves today. He goes, "You don't listen to any of them." I'm like, "Nah, I listen to like Suicide Boys, dude." <laughs> hey, Suicide Boys are wait, yeah, are, we, yeah. are they the ones I'm thinking about? I'm thinking probably thinking about something. They're they're the ones that uh, best way to describe them. Their rap sounds like. Oh yeah, no no no. I I was thinking to a completely different group that I like. Suicide Boys, Sempra, you know that kind of like dark dark rap i don't even know how you would describe the genre no, that's a good that's a pretty good way to explain it. yeah dark rap is like dark their whole underground thing yeah you know, fucking uh speaking on aj uh for any Yu Gi Oh players out there he plays Yu Gi Oh with no sleep so send all the hate you can to aj uh he AJ, very, no, no. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. So send all the hate you can to alonzo uh he plays with no sleeves just raw dogs it slides his cards oh he, man he shuffles his deck like this, like like cards. He actually, he actually doesn't do it that way anymore. Thank God. Oh my when he, God! When he was over yesterday and we were dueling, he he spaced out. He did it the regular way, and he said because oh he was teaching his brother how to play, and he said to his brother, he's like, "See, you want to shuffle like this so you don't ruin your cards." Oh, okay. So <laughs> yeah. it's like I know he does it as a meme, but it just hurts my soul when it's like, "Oh, you see," and he's like. <laughs> Spreading the cards out, bro. Yeah, like he used to run a dino deck, uh, like two years ago, and that deck was just absolutely destroyed. All of his cards were like 
felt like napkins. They were all flat. I fucking bet. <laughs> I fucking bet, bro. If you're doing that every day to your fucking cards, they're not going to last long. And it's wild because, like, playing cards, the reason you can shuffle playing cards like that is because they're made of a different material and they're thicker. Yeah, yeah. You know? All jokes aside, don't don't send no hate to Alonzo. He's a dope guy. He's, he's <laughs> he just I hate the way he shovels cards. I can't I can't stand it. Yeah, like modern playing cards are more plastic than they are paper, and yeah. Yu Gi Oh is still kind of on that paper trend. Yeah, it's way more paper for sure. Yeah, they do that shit on purpose. Any trading card game, really. Okay, um, modern news. Two okay. two things in modern news. I don't know if you researched it since I sent you the screenshot, but. Probably not, but hit me. Helldivers 2 and Escape from Tarkov. Do you know anything Did about not, it? did not do any okay. research, but let's speak on it. All right. Speak so, Helldivers 2, which they finally backpedaled on it, but they decided that to play the game, you need to link it with your PSN account, right? So That doesn't sound bad. Yeah. Even if you're playing on Steam, no big deal, and you just link right. your PSN. But some countries don't have PlayStation. Like, they don't have PSN, but they have Steam. So a huge player base of Helldivers 2 players were getting hit with this, and they, they actually removed it from the Steam store temporarily. And those, like, without, you know, because you couldn't link in those countries because they couldn't link it with PSN. They're like, no PSN, no Helldivers. So, that's, that's corny. Imagine you bought a game and then one day woke up and it just wasn't there. Yeah, damn, the backlash on that must have been crazy. I'm surprised I didn't see anything. Before. Yeah, so they, they, they reversed it, thank God. Um, they But they left in their statement they are going to figure out a way to better Helldivers for their PC players. Yeah. I mean, but, but I haven't like, heard any complaints about Helldivers on PC. If this, anything, is, this, is literally, crazy. this is literally like as of yesterday. You know, that's, like that's as why. brand new news. But think about... In perspective, they said that they're working on how to better Helldivers for PC players after they did that. Yeah. <laughs> you you are saying, hey, we you have to link it to a PSN account. Oh, you don't have a PSN account? Tough shit. Oh, you don't need the game. There's not, But you don't need to change anything for the game to make it better. Yeah, they, it was perfect the way it is. It's all I've been hearing is good shit about it. You know what I'm saying? So, so, like, doing that change to it just is just stupid. It, yeah, and at least they were able to notice it relatively quickly because usually stuff like yeah. that moves. That would have took Activision about three months to fix. <laughs> well, this is what worries me. I think COD's going to start taking notes. So, <laughs> Escape from Tarkov, all right, they have an addition you could have bought for $150. It was, like, the, the EOD oh. edition. Hey. Huh? Oh, I said, God damn. Yeah. A lot of money. $150 for this edition, but with that price point, it stated that all future DLC will be free. Okay? So you could buy the base, the base beta. Again, it's still in beta, and it's been like five fucking years. Right? You I thought that was the... a full-blown game by now, to be honest. No, I thought that no. game... It's uh, apparently not. It, you know, it's good enough. You could have, you, but I don't know what their plan is with it. So the base beta you can buy for forty dollars, which is the version I have, right? Yeah. Or you could pay the hundred fifty dollars, and it gives you like some extra like permanent stash because you go in there, you lose all your loot if you die, unless you whatever you can fit. Yeah, yeah. Loot. I know the you, concept. Of, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you get a bigger permanent box, paying for that edition and all future DLC. Okay. So, they decided they wanted to make a PvE mode, okay? Sure. The, the thing with Tarkov is it resets every couple months and you, everybody gets a wipe so it stays balanced. You know, if you fall behind, everybody's got all this good loot and good shit and all this money, it wipes it for the competitive aspect, right? Yeah. So, they wanted to create a PvE mode where you can just play with your friends and there isn't a reset on this mode. So, this is, you could just keep stacking because you're just fighting computer players, right? Like, it doesn't yeah. really mean anything. You know, it's it's not unbalanced or whatever. So, they're coming out with this PvE experience. But it costs $250. Yeah. <laughs> 
$250 DLC. The game isn't out yet, brother. They want. <laughs> they want it's a beta. $250. They want $250 from you, plus the $40, and the game isn't even complete. This is how bad developers have gotten. Developers are just retarded. Just, that's crazy. To top it off, they also changed the wording in the description of the $150 part where it says you get all future DLC, you know. And they changed it to exclusive or whatever DLC. So um, not all DLC is free then. Right. You get exclusive DLC for free. Right. So That's <laughs> such a scam, bro. And then they tripled down because people started attacking him for it. Some dude made a video where he showed in real time with the Wayback Machine what the EOD version used to say versus what it says now. Yeah. Showing that, like, they're trying to pull a fast one on you guys. Right, right. And people backlash. And what they said was... <laughs> it's supposed to be some wild I, shit. I gotta, pull it up. I gotta pull it up <laughs> word for word. This is why people need to follow an Elder Ring step, man. You gotta... You know what I'm saying? Build a masterpiece, give some DLC for the free, and then end the game. You know what I'm saying? There you go. That's your whole full game right there. Don't pay two fifty for an incomplete game with the DLC. That's stupid. <laughs> uh, do, 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 do. Else gauge. Doesn't he look so adorable in his pink ears? Mm -hmm. what we call dead air yeah dead air <clears throat> I'm trying to find like the exact word for word tweet that they freaking put out and I can't find it alright whatever essentially what they had said is that this isn't DLC because it's a game mode no that's DLC this that's DLC say, like everybody's like if you have to download data the downloadable yeah. content is what DLC literally stands for if you have to download code to use something in your game and utilize that code that you downloaded, that is a downloadable content, even if it's a game mode. I, I, I don't really have much to say on that. That's just fucking stupid. That's that's crazy of them. I don't... It's just like... I'm gonna send, I would sound like cease and desist letters. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like, just stop making this game. Well, like, what are companies coming to, to the, the, yeah. point that, like, because Star Wars Outlaws, a Ubisoft game, if you want to have all of the missions, you need to buy the $120 version. Ubisoft already has a, a bad record of, like, uh, right. Oh, is that EA? Is EA the one that has, like, uh, loot boxes both, and both, shit? Both of them. Both is of it both them? of them? Yeah. Yeah. They already have a bad record then, so. It, it's just, like, not surprised. For. You don't even get the full game paying a $70 price tag of this Star Wars game. If you want the full game, you have to pay more money. Like, it's stupid. Like, it. what, what is it? Like, all these AAA developers are so fucking money hungry. And that's why Activision is such a bad fucking team also. Like, they just and, all worried I'm about money. All these, you know what I'm saying, all the uh, add-ons, all the skins. That they stop worrying about the game mechanics. The ranked. You know what I'm like, saying? All the good stuff that's actually f enjoyable and all they're worried about is, is like Snoop Dogg skins and shit, you know? It's true, man. That's all they care. For the fourth time and for the fourth yeah, year in a row. I, more than four times, bro. <laughs> they might as well sponsor fucking Snoop Dogg. Give I'm him a face I'm, contract. I'm pretty sure that's what that is, though, is that they're paying him to have his image. Probably. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> that, that's 100% positive. That's how that works. Most definitely, probably. That, that is his sponsor. Um, but imagine if Activision like looks at what Escape from Tarkov did and it was like, okay, well, let's do that now. Yeah, they're stirring ideas right now. <laughs> I could sell <laughs> some shit for 250 for sure. <laughs> imagine a world where every video game company did that. We'd all be broke. No, I wouldn't be broke. <laughs> no, I ain't buying that would, shit. We wouldn't be yeah, broke. Buying nobody that would. It just nobody would play anymore. <laughs> no, there, there's people that would play. There's people. That, you, you see the two K. You see the two K community. <laughs> They're bad, bro. 
This one dude said. This one dude said. I paid. I paid twenty five thousand dollars for my my player. What are you doing? Buy a car. What the you fuck? Twenty five thousand dollars? Yeah, it's true. But I will no matter what spend the money. What's crazy Stupid. is I mean I can't speak for this guy in particularly, but usually the people that do that don't have the money to do that. <laughs> That's true. I bet you, you know there's saying? no way you have twenty five thousand just laying around for two K. Your well, priorities and, are what I'm straight. saying is, and usually the people who do just have twenty five thousand dollars laying around, they're not spending it on game DLC. Yeah, like motherfuckers will go into debt for Diablo. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> understandable. <laughs> that one's a good game. <laughs> I would go into some debt for Diablo. Bro. I got it on sale though, so I'm cool. <laughs> it was bad. I calculated how much I had spent on Call of Duty bundles for just Call of, for Cold War. Yeah, I spent thirty one hundred dollars. God damn. Yeah, I'm actually I'm t I'm totally against uh, any type of bundle. Uh, remember when Fortnite was in its peak? Yeah, playing it like crazy. I bought one skin that whole time. That's it. And I had money. You know what I'm saying? And for Call of Duty, I think I bought two skins. I could pull up my Call of Duty account right now. Right. Not have two skins on there. That's it. See, what it is is you, what it used to be, and. I have not seen anybody say this out loud, and I might even just now it just sparked an idea to make a whole video just based on this because nobody has said anything about it. <clears throat> you used to be able to buy the battle pass for ten bucks, okay? Yep. Then you can earn the COD points in that battle pass to buy <laughs> the next one, right? When Modern Warfare 2 came out, they switched it. You can't buy battle passes with COD points anymore. Yep. You can that. use the COD points for bundles, cool. But it was like an infinite battle pass glitch. You buy the first one for 10 bucks, and if you really want the yep. second one, you just hold on to your COD points. Come and that's what was good about the battle pass at first. You could grind yeah. until you got the money's worth in virtual money for yeah. the battle pass. And then Modern Warfare 2 came out, and all that shit went to, went to the garbage can because so, now you actually have to buy and then it increased from 10 to 20 yeah. and now it's at 30 i think which is absurd it's at 30 for the like the extra stuff the black cell you know it's, it, but why is there extra stuff let's be honest that extra stuff does nothing for you even cosmetically like from it's bad even cosmetically doesn't look yeah. cool my, it's like some say, generic gold I, stuff i'm so glad that the recent battle pass for modern warfare 3 have been asked because i just have not I, it saved you haven't me even money. been tempted. Yeah. It, it saved me money. <laughs> like, the thing with Cold War, the reason I was able to spend so much money on skins was because of zombies, right? Yeah. Like, having the Mastercraft weapon blueprints fighting zombies, it makes sense in the zombies lore and universe. Because before they did bundles, there was always those really cool guns you can get from the mystery box that, like, look cool and flashy. So it's like, now your Spaz 12 can look like a ray gun. It's like, I want my spot swap to look like a ray gun while I blast through zombies. That's also a huge thing that they strayed away from was like earning your camos. That's yeah. why that's why I refuse to buy any type of camos or anything, any yeah. skins, because back in the day, you could earn all that shit. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you play for hours on end to earn something that somebody else didn't have. You didn't just buy it up out of nowhere and pull your mom's credit card out and buy it. <laughs> You would earn it, and then you'd feel the sense of accomplishment when you had it on you. You know what I'm saying? That was, now that you're... was my biggest shit talking point back in the day. Is like whenever yeah. they would be like, "Oh, you're ass, bro." I'd just be like, "Talk to me when you get Damascus." Like, yeah, talk to me when you fucking get polyatomic, bitch. Yeah, All right, yeah, talk you talk to me, to me which I have never got. <laughs> they uh, <laughs> but oh, that's what I'm trying to say. With earning it, if you were so yeah, good, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they added new camp. They added more camos to get in Modern Warfare Three. Actually, also, I, I, I will say though, they are dropping a lot of good shit camo wise, and and, they, and they're making it like a, a good grind. Like Jeff, Jeff does these grinds all the time, so I'm like watching. <laughs> yeah, yeah, his videos are hilarious. Looking yeah, back he's to phase. <laughs> yeah, bro, he's he's grinding hard and shit for those camos. If, if they just took all that viable content out the game, Call of Duty would be in a pretty good place. And if they just kept kept up on it more than they do. I, I disagree, but not because, you know, you can just buy it. There should be a way to earn bundles besides having to buy the Battle Pass. 
you know. Well, I, I, you saw, I see, like, specific bundles. I can see it. Like, the ones that have, like... Uh... No, I, I'm saying why not fuck it? Why not just all of them, you know? No, but then, then, then like, the ones that you care about, you earn. Like, somebody just has it because he bought it for $5. Yeah, I guess you're right. Not even $5, $20. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it just takes the whole... $20, Jesus. Yeah, Jesus. and that's on the cheap side. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So, like, so like that, that just takes the whole fun out of it. Dude, I grinded it for, you know what I'm saying, 30 days to get this shit. And somebody already has it across the map. And then, again, COD saved me money this year because the whole reason I bought a bunch of bundles for Cold War was for zombies. Zombies mode is fucking ass. I, I'll say Fair, it. So bad. It's so bad. It, it's it's fun, but... Yeah. With friends, yeah. It's fun with friends, it's fun. But they haven't done anything with it since launch. They added a couple more missions, that was it. I'm not gonna lie, the concept, it was a great concept. It's like, a cool concept, oh, but... Yeah. You can have that concept and also have, like, round-based zombies. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? You got both. That's, Why not? I missed it. You don't. Need, it wouldn't take. You wouldn't have to lift a finger to program the whole extra map to throw it in there. They have the yeah, tools bro. to do it. All they have to do is import it and you know run your whatever. Like I'm not a game developer, but I genuinely <laughs> is doing the thing again. Oh shit! Oh shit! Take it ooh, ooh, ooh. Click click. It just goes black. <laughs> <laughs> At first, we're not editing. Yeah, the the battery is about to die too, but that's okay because okay. we're almost there. I, I will wrap with the COD topic. Um, but they, what really gets me is they bragged so hard about Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. They yeah. said, they had said, it is not only the best third party or the most played third party mode in COD history, but also the most played Zombies mode in COD history. That was a lie. Let's pretend it, it, it was true. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Let's pretend it was true. Why haven't you done anything else with it? I'm right. Speaking, Why haven't... I'm I'm speaking to you directly, Activision, right now. <laughs> if that was well, true, why haven't you done anything else with it? Because <laughs> this they suck at keeping up with their games. No, they're just yeah. out of they're just out of touch. It's not even oh, that, that's... keeping up. They could easily keep up because they've done it in the past. You know. Sure. You would constantly get new maps and zombies modes. Or zombie maps back in the day, monthly or every couple months with map yeah. packs, you know. Yeah. And my billion dollar COD idea, Activision, hire me for uh, your marketing. Yep. Listen department. to him right now. Listen to him right now. He's got some. He got some heat. Take all of the multiplayer maps and put them into zombies, like port it into zombies, kind of like how they did with the um, what was the mode called? Oh God. It's, it was an outbreak. It was the other one, that where it did take place on little player maps, but they limit you to the little circle sphere thing, right? Garbo fucking mode, boring as shit to play. <laughs> the gameplay loop isn't good. You take the classic zombies formula, and you put it into every multiplayer map. It literally would take a day to not even program. You just need to take the assets and put the assets and put the spawn points. Because I built maps in Halo. If you don't have the tools to put, do it where I could just put zombie spawn, zombie spawn, window, program, the wall by for it. Like, you can literally... I've built zombies in Halo before, in Halo Infinite, right? Yeah. Like, I, it's easy. It's easy to do. Literally, all you do is you put it where... Okay, players spawn here on the COD map. I'll do it facing the camera. Players spawn here on the COD map. Here's the back of the map. We'll put Pack-A-Punch here. And then you have to buy the doors to pack a punch and the outside yeah. bounds of the map are where the zombies spawn yeah, and then yeah you just put like put a wall gun here put a wall gun here put a wall gun here you don't have to do any fancy story to it or easter egg. you can reserve the easter egg and the story to the main line maps that are unique to the zombies mode but also just have the option to play round based zombies just for yeah. the camp like just for the camo grind on your multiplayer maps with wall right. buys and everything Activision, we got the idea. We just ain't got the funds. Like straight up, that's what you're there for. Straight up, people do it in their mom's basement for Black Ops Three, and they yeah. build those maps from the ground up, and they're just as good as your mainline maps. Activision, what are you doing? Let's 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 brainstorm in there. You guys are a billion dollar company. 
and the Thank multiplayer you. concept I just stated. People do that. You can play Rust Zombies on Black Ops 3 right now. You can play Sub Base Zombies on Black Ops 3 right now. You know, you can play High Rise Zombies on Black Ops 3 right now. Like, people in their mom's basement do it themselves. Like, easy. If they, if they could do it, the billion dollar company could do it. You know what I'm saying? And, and I. I just don't know why there isn't some sort of like click somewhere. So whoever's working for them, who who's the idea guy in their marketing team? Why can't they just think? And the idea guy has to be like eighty years old. Like, <laughs> like, oh, fucking, you imagine? Oh, yeah, I'm telling you, he's on his deathbed. He has no ideas left. Like, you make billions of dollars each release. You yeah. make billions of dollars every year on Battle Pass and bundles. Why can't you just give us an extra little bit of DLC for free? Like you already... Like, they already give a lot. They do give a lot for free, but they make billions of dollars. That should, you know... It's not even like... It, me being a person, I would be like, fuck it, give it to them. Like, they already paid us so much money. Let's just... Yeah, I see what you're saying. Like, we got um, so much, you know what I'm saying? It's like the little hand-me-downs. Yeah, like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's just why not have more to your game that can make it better? And it's just like maybe they're holding it on for the next game, but then the next game comes and it's not there, and then the next game comes and they actually somehow have less than the previous game. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They like, never have a full complete game on launch ever, bro. When, There's some type when, of bug or some shit. When Vanguard came out, they had neutered. The zombies mode compared to Cold War. Yeah, and prefer I prefer that zombies over, which is really sick. yeah. I think it was just, it was still round based. I fucking give me that round based yeah, shitty map. Cold yeah. War Cold Wars was the best in recent yeah. years in recent for years, sure. Yeah, uh, but I'd prefer Vanguard's over this fucking shitty bro. The map just feels so dead. I'm walking around and then like you know I'm going in this contract taking it's, a zip. It's also too easy. It's way too easy. If he and if when you get to tier three, it's finally where shit starts getting ramped up. But I've I've never died in zombies yet in Modern Warfare three. My friend did, but he's ass. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I've not gone down. I play solo all the time. <laughs> so yeah, it's you know what I'm saying? it's it's crazy, bro. Like it's not hard. It's a it's a little bit more chance in an enclosed area. That's why the rock I face. You have to maneuver your ass out. You cut out a lot right there. Oh shit! Damn, I was I was on a rant too, right, bro. Right. I was gonna. <laughs> all right. Hold on, hold. Good. Okay, go again. All right, all right. Damn, I was on a rant. I was doing good. I was talking. Shit, I was spin. Oh yeah, I was saying like it's it was in an you know those maps are in an enclosed area. You know what I'm saying? So it's harder to play. It's harder to play zombies when you're getting ganged up by a whole bunch of them. They're cornering you and shit. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying, and it's more fun when you have mechanics like sl like slide canceling. In zombies, yeah. and when you're in an enclosed spot, it re you really using that type of shit. When you're just in a huge area and a huge map, you know what I'm saying? Like you're not using that mechanic as much as you could. You know what I'm saying? That slide canceling would be so lit in a tight knit spot. You could just slide cancel out of somewhere. It'd make dope clips. You know what I'm saying? Like cool montages for you, you zombies. You know, you know what's crazy? What you can, you, they have that in Black Ops Three, but better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. Dude. Yeah. Do you have Black Ops 3? I do. On PC? I do. Yes, I do. Is it, it's extremely laggy, though. What What do you mean it's extremely laggy? Have you hopped on it lately? I hop on, like, almost every week. At least once a week, I'm on Black Ops 3. I play Tell Black Ops 2 or Black Ops 3? Black Ops 3, and I play Custom Zombies. Like, I don't play it's the regular three. maps anymore. I'm almost positive it's 3. Yeah, it's 3. It's laggy, bro. Like when I hop on, it's kind of like it, it. It's good, and then but like when I'm getting into late round zombies, it's like it starts like kind of lagging. It. What are your specs at on your computer? Specs are specs are good. Uh huh. Name them. Good. So we got a Ryzen seven. Uh huh. Uh, we got a, a thirty sixty. Uh huh. GP. So you you have the same thing I have. Yeah, sixteen gigs of RAM. Oh, you, I got thirty-two gigs of RAM. I mean, yeah, that was the that we talked about. The, the yeah, thirty-two, yeah. it it make it a lot better. But the Ryzen seven, also, I want to upgrade that. Something drop down in the me, comments. Me <laughs> drop down in the comments. Give me a good fucking processor. I don't. I need just one. Ryzen nine. Just go up a number. 
But I just no, because some people like the Intel shit, you know. Yeah, but then you gotta switch your motherboard too. I'm, I'm gonna switch it out soon. Okay. This one's old. This one's this one's old and. Uh, Oh, your but, motherboard also could be. I mean, it, it doesn't. It's not a huge factor, yeah. but there is a difference between like a good gaming motherboard and a cheap yeah. one. I don't I think went, this one was that good. I went cheap on the motherboard. I went I from, first got everything. I went from a forty dollar motherboard to an eighty dollar motherboard, and it just like it was instantly faster on everything. Yeah, so I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of probably getting a new motherboard. I don't even know which motherboard I have right now. Yeah. I, I, threw the, I threw the box away for everything. <laughs> I was no, just so not the to boxes. build it. You gotta save the boxes. <laughs> Everybody was mad at me about that. They're like, you did uh, what with the box? Yeah. I was like, bro, I threw it away, bro. Oh, also, next episode, we're talking about JJK. Okay, I don't care okay. if you haven't watched I, it. But you better watch it. Show. You're watching it after today. I'll watch the video you sent me, and you'll commit okay. month of your life to JJK. I mean, that good. we got another episode next week. So, yeah. So yeah. I haven't done my next week. But the whole the whole thing. This goes to this goes to show what I was trying to tell you earlier is like we don't need a shit ton of topics. We just need like five. Yeah, so, yeah. It, this, was, this was this was yeah this. legit. I I told you that we yeah, it was five topics. Little, we did pretty good. We, yeah. we already talk a shit ton in person yeah. and like dude at work at, at Gecko. Work. We don't shut the fuck up, bro. We should not be working no, together. No, like, like, we do our fucking job, but we don't yeah. shut the fuck up. We'll be walking, like, hand in hand and shit, like, fucking, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, skipping and shit. Yeah, like, yeah. we're fucking talking all day. <laughs> hand in hand skipping. Yeah. <laughs> we don't shut the fuck up, man. Oh, man. Yeah, it, it shows. It's great. So uh, it, it works for podcasts, though. Yeah, exactly. And if we get a third, even, even better, you know? And I'm yeah. glad my camera held out as long as it did. I'm impressed. Yeah. So I know I am too. can can make it's, an hour. You could see it the is so close. Yeah, I was about to say it is so close to die, and it is like right there. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. So second. with that, we'll wrap. Uh, thank you guys for joining us. The, these should be out weekly. We'll you know that's the goal. If something happens, obviously one of us is sick or some shit. Obviously, but yeah. No, I'm coming on here with a fever, bro. Yeah, I'm We're going. Posting. <laughs> I'm going to post this on the Goose Cheesy channel, which is probably how you find it. But we are also going to have our separate channel just for the podcast where I'm just going to post them. Um, we will consistently post on both and Giovanni's channel. So I'm going to give him the file through. Actually, I could just give you a flash drive since we work together. Yeah. That would probably. That's going to look it. really fucking sus at work. Yeah. Like you hand me a flash drive. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what's, what's on there? Come <laughs> Company, company secrets. Don't tell Just... the KGB. So, <laughs> so I, I forgot what your channel is called. <laughs> what's your What's the channel called? I haven't posted it on it in forever. But that's we'll, fine. But we'll, we'll post the. I don't know what it is. I just don't know what it is. It's, it's probably the Kibani or something like that. It has to be something. Oh my god! I haven't god. touched it in years, bro. I'll link it in the, the description of this, so you can go to Giovanni's channel, give him a subscribe, and follow. Uh, he doesn't post like I do, but he's wants. Oh, to this get guy's there. way more consistent. He wants to get there, so show him love so he can get there. And uh, the podcast will be there for you guys to discover. So if you found the podcast on Giovanni's channel currently that we're talking, go to the main podcast to subscribe there, like you know all that stuff. Comment down below, you know, tell us how bad we are. Constructive yeah. criticism, and. Follow me, subscribe to Goose Cheesy for the YouTube. I do airsoft and gaming and commentary stuff. So, yeah. And Giovanni just completely froze. <laughs> oh, no. I think a skinwalker got him. Bruh. <laughs> oh, no. Dude, they, they heard us sharing company secrets and they, they locked them out. <laughs> I'm gonna call him real quick. This is goofy. This is so goofy. Oh, our internet's out? Oh, it's a me problem. Oh my god. Wait. Hello? Yeah. Bro, I was talking so much shit, and it turns out it was my internet the entire time. Yeah, that's it. I was so confused. <laughs> I was... Dude, I didn't want to say anything, but I was like. Bro, my shit's perfectly fine over oh, here. I'm like, what the froze. hell's going on? You froze. I got it all recorded. It's hilarious. I was talking okay. so much. Uh, so we, this literally is ending on me talking shit. I'm like, oh, man, his internet cut out. What the fuck? It, <laughs> out. It, was, it was me the entire time. Well, I'm so, having we're just screen recording. That, that helps. 
Yeah. Oh, also, so, uh, are we doing like Spotify and shit? We really that would help a lot. We'll we'll get there. I gotta research more into it. We'll get. Yeah, there. that that'd be dope. It'd be like, yeah, we're on all platforms. Fucking Apple, Spotify. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then, but <laughs> watch us on YouTube too. You know? All right. So uh, yeah, go check out our channels. Uh, see you guys yeah. next time. Goodbye. Deuces.